So you're thinking about moving to Plano, Texas, but you're in that price range of around six to seven hundred thousand dollars, and you kind of want to get an idea of what that may get you here in Plano. Well, that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. Actually, I'm right here in the shops at Legacy, uh, which is a pretty popular spot. We'll get to that here in a second, but in this video, we're going to take you around Plano, show you a few different homes, four different homes in uh, uh, in the six hundred thousand dollar price range, so you can see what may fit inside your budget. So that might help you make a better decision if you're thinking about moving to Plano and we're going to get after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is about living in Dallas, Texas and the surrounding areas like Plano, then subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market in Dallas. My name is Levi, you know my partner Travis and I, we get calls and emails every single day from people just like you and you and you and you looking to move to Dallas. We love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, just give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. Happy to help you make a smooth move to Dallas or Plano. As we mentioned, we're here today in uh, the shops at Legacy. So we're in this whole section. This is called the shops at Legacy. And then just right across the tollway right there is called Legacy West. All of this you can see. Uh, you can probably see the, the tall buildings there in the back. You got buildings right here because this is a pretty uh, major center right here where a lot of corporations, major corporations are moving to. This is kind of one of the hubs. And so now you have all this new development over here. Look at all the trees, you can see tons of crepe myrtles back there, but lots of restaurants, bars, you've got um, Season 52, you've got Capitol Grill right here, you've got um, the Blue Mesa going on right there, but uh, some very high-end restaurants. I would say this is a hot spot definitely for Plano, and it's right on the border of Frisco as well, so it's going to be a hot spot for Frisco too, where you can come out and come and enjoy happy hour, enjoy some drinks, enjoy some fine dining. Uh, you're not that far from the Star District as well, where the Cowboys are at, and that this whole Star District, that's just on the other side of the of the other tollway, the SRT. So you got the DNT right here, and you got the SRT right there, and then you've got um, you know Legacy West over there. You got the Star District just right up the road. But again, all of this. So if you're going, if your uh, company is moving to Plano then this could be a possibility where they'll be stationed at right around in this area, which is great because anytime you want to come down for lunch, you've got everything right at your doorstep or right around here. Uh, what we'll do is uh, like we always do, we're going to take you around, show you some homes, some different homes and different price points in the $600,000 range. So if that's your budget, stay tuned. Or if, you, if you're just nosy and you want to see anyways, then we'll show you that. And then, uh, of course, we'll cruise you around the neighborhoods as well so you can kind of get a better feel from there as well. Uh, we'll take you around. We have some footage of uh, the Shops of Legacy as well. So uh, once I leave here, we'll cruise you around here for a second. Go check out the first home. We're going to look in the 600 at 600,000. Uh, around mid, maybe 640, and then 675 and 695, all right? So with that, let's get started. All right, so we're coming up on our first stop here in Plano, and we're going to be right in the $600,000 price range. Well, of course, like we said, we're in that price range anyways, but this home is going to be priced at $600,000. And again, you know, this is what we've talked about in the, some of the previous videos, like we've I got the video on the 400K uh, in Plano and Frisco, but the, and the one in particular in for <laughs> blah, blah, blah. 
the one in particular in the 400K range, we talk about you know the all the mature trees in Plano. Plano is a much more established. We actually have another video, Frisco versus Plano, that we talk about that as well. As far as this is what you get, you're going to find older homes. Uh, in Plano, but at the same time, it is, uh, you know, you're going to get more established neighborhoods. You're going to get all these uh, old growth trees, all these mature trees all around. And then you're going to have homes like this uh, that was built in uh, 1995, but still, it's, uh, they definitely remodeled this one on the inside, lighten up the colors. I can almost guarantee you it was not built that way in the 90s. But it's a, a four bedroom, four and a half bath, right at 3,300 square feet. So the price per square foot, uh, right around uh, 100, is it 180 or so. And uh, not too bad though, but you can tell it definitely looks like a, you know, it's a brick traditional, it looks like it was built in the 90s. Of course, that's a lot of the style that was going on there, but they have definitely upgraded and, and lightened up the colors on the inside. Looks like they've done some work in the bathrooms and things like that. But again, you're gonna have, uh, you know, some, this, this consistency throughout the neighborhood of these uh, traditional brick homes, at least in this neighborhood. Uh, you know, we're gonna take you through a couple of more homes in other neighborhoods to show you the other price points in the 600 range, of course, as we promised. But here, you can just kind of get the idea of very similar to our video on the 400K in Plano to where older homes, much more established. Again, you're even gonna find some ranch style homes in this price range as well that have been remodeled, most likely been remodeled uh, to, to drive up that price range or gonna be in much more established uh, neighborhoods. But here, you're going to get uh, usually, you know, a little bit, lot sizes are okay here, kind of. I mean, I'd say they're still a little bit small. You can kind of see uh, that house pretty much kind of takes up the whole lot size. That one over there pretty much does as well. So, uh, you know, in the 90s, early 2000s, that's the other thing whenever they were building a lot of these areas too, they kind of skimped on lot sizes, right? But again, you go into the older homes that were built 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, that's a good thing about those ranch style homes. You can get some bigger lot sizes. But anyways, you kind of get the idea, but this kind of gives you uh, an idea what you can get again. Uh, right at 600,000, 3,300 square feet, four bedroom, four and a half bath here in the Plano area. And of course you can hear all the locusts in the trees. But anyways, with that, let's, uh, let's go check out, or I'm gonna cruise you around this neighborhood. We'll do that with all the other homes. After we show you the home, we'll take you for a quick cruise around the neighborhood so you can kind of see it for yourself. And then we'll go to the next stop. All right, see you there. All right, so we're here at our second stop for the day, and this neighborhood mostly established in the late 2000s, around 2007, 8, 9, and that's the home we're gonna be looking at today is uh, built in 2007, but absolutely beautiful neighborhood. Uh, beautiful homes here as well, nicely landscaped. I mean, front yards are a little, uh, are a little small, but you know, hey, uh, you're really close to absolutely everything here. But you'll see uh, as we're coming up on this property right here, it's going to be uh, 665,000 ish. It's just under 3,400 square feet, and it's a four bedroom, four and a half bath. And again, built in uh, 2007. Price per square foot is going to be right around $192 or so. And other than that, yeah, you kind of see a similarity uh, throughout the the home. So. Uh, this small community was was probably completely built up at that time right there. But again, oh, look, see that little tiny house? <laughs> little tiny house in the back, but uh, it's just a little play area. But again, you're right here close to um, everything, just right off of Preston Road. We've mentioned this in a couple of our other videos, especially the map tours whenever we show you around on the maps. But Preston Road uh, starts from Oak Lawn in downtown Dallas, actually from Oak Lawn Avenue, turns into Preston Road right at the Highland, Oak Lawn and Highland Park border. And once it turns into Preston Road, Preston Road goes all the way north, uh, basically parallel to the Dallas North Tollway. And anything along Preston Road is whether it's residential or commercial is going to be pretty nice. So 
uh, you know, that, and then of course you have the tollway. So if you're in the middle, if you're in between Preston Road and the tollway, anything in that strip known as the Golden Corridor, they call that sometimes, then you're pretty much going to be in a great neighborhood or uh, high-end shopping, anything like that. Look at the rest of the homes down here. Very mature trees, as we talked about. Again, you're going to see that as we go throughout these neighborhoods. Uh, that's the great thing about Plano is already established, uh, really established neighborhoods, mature trees, and, um, you know, longtime residents, all that good stuff. And so, uh, but yeah, otherwise, you've got everything you need, again, right here uh, in Plano. Good thing about Plano, too, is you're closer to downtown Dallas. If you're going to be commuting to downtown Dallas, then it's going to be a lot easier to get there. Uh, and trust me, going from Plano to downtown is a little bit easier than going from Frisco to downtown. Now, people do it all the time, but again, it does. It may save you anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes, just depending on traffic uh, that you could might get stuck here or there. But otherwise, most people are pretty good um, commuting from Frisco. But again, because there's such a buildup of uh, corporations, uh, like we showed you at the beginning, going into Plano, you likely will be working in Plano or Frisco anyway. So uh, there's so many job opportunities coming up throughout this whole area. So uh, you may, or you, you may be working from home or remotely now, which is uh, really good as well. So a lot of great opportunities, some really beautiful homes. Here it is again, just so you can see it. Four bedrooms, four and a half bath, just under 3,400 square feet around 660 on the price, 665, and price per square foot still around 190, $192 uh, per square foot, built in 2007. Absolutely beautiful home. And with that, let's uh, cruise around the neighborhood and then go check out the next property. All right, so we're coming up on our next stop here in Plano. And again, just as we've mentioned before, if you see all the way down there, you see all the overgrown, or I should say mature trees. Now you can tell these are definitely some new construction homes in this neighborhood, uh, 2014, 2015, 2016. So they likely probably leveled this block through here. As you can see, some of the trees are a lot smaller, but they um, you know, probably leveled this out, put this little, patch of uh, newer homes in here, especially like this one. Uh, oh, right there for sale right now, which is a uh, four bedroom, four and a half bath. It's priced right at 675,000 and it's uh, 3,350 square feet. So that's going to put the price per square foot right around uh, just around $200 a square foot, but not bad for, uh, and it was built in 2014. So as again, and I think it's beautiful. Uh, got nice brick stone combination, kind of a little bit of the Tudor style, but still new construction, only seven years old. But that's probably, the, or that is the case really whenever you look at the rest of the homes in this neighborhood, but they kind of have a mix of here, some Spanish style, Mediterranean style, along with that traditional uh, brick and a little mixed in of that Tudor style as well. And so, uh, but yeah, other than that, you can see here, but you're right outside again we're close to uh, pretty much everything which is the case here in plano and again you're going to have like some of the older neighborhood down that way uh, schools are close by within a very short distance of here and everything so other than that this is a, another great spot but it gives you an idea of what you're going to get in the upper end of plano you're going to find other properties similar to this as well but again four bedrooms four and a half baths over 3,300 square feet. That's pretty good. Uh, you know, I'd say probably the downside to this neighborhood is here is lot size. You know, they kind of they kind of packed them in here a little bit. Uh, so just something to be mindful of with these older homes that you've seen, like in our other video, the 400K video. 
you know, the, a lot of those ranch style homes, when those were built in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, of course, uh, they weren't thinking about space, so to speak. They were, and so you're going to get bigger lot sizes. So that is a, a good thing if you get one of the older homes or a ranch style home and then renovate it is you're likely going to have a larger lot size. So that's a benefit to having that as well. But here you can see much smaller lot size. And so that would probably be the downside I would say here. But again, you're getting a relatively new home in the Plano area, which is really not bad at all. But with that, let's go, let's go check out the last one. All right, so we're coming up on our last stop here in Plano. And again, as you can see, a lot of these older established neighborhoods with these very mature trees, you can hear the birds chirping or the crows cocking and the uh, some of the locust cicadas, you know, whatever you want to call them. I always called them locusts growing up, by the way. So those that want to tell me that they're actually cicadas or whatnot, we just, we grew up calling them locusts. So. That's what they are to us. <laughs> but you can see here, actually, this home right over here is a five bedroom, four and a half bath. It's right at 695,000, just over 3,800 square feet as well. So it's gonna put the price per square foot right around 180, uh, 180, $182, give or take. And it was built in 1984, but it's very well, it looks very, very nice on the inside and it's got a pool. So that's very important as well for the summertime here in Dallas but I tell you what again we're in uh, August and it's only 90 degrees we actually had a little cold front come in and yes we do call the, uh, whenever it drops to 90 degrees in the summer we do call that a cold front and it's absolutely beautiful at least in my opinion it was cool you know it's cool in the morning everyone's always concerned about the humidity and and uh, you know but in Dallas North Dallas North Texas area the humidity is not as bad as you will find in Houston for sure number one Houston San Antonio Austin even a little bit but Dallas is a little combo of a dry and humid climate but it's uh, usually July and August are a little bit more humid but still you're gonna have these days kind of like today where it's really not much humidity at all and in the mornings usually the mornings are very cool 70s or 80s uh, which is nice if you're going to go out and exercise outside or something like that or go for a walk early in the morning so that's something that is very nice but even like today if it drops to 90 then now when it's 95 or 100 and then the heat index gets up to 105 or 108 that is hot <laughs> that feels uh, pretty hot and that's where you want to jump in the pool uh, or just you know take all your clothes off whenever you get home uh, so especially when we're out and we're meeting with clients or we're wearing uh, you know nice button-ups I always dress comfortable when I come out and run these vlogs but otherwise you know it's uh, you can go through the day you'll be burning up a little bit you get home and you're just like ah, just get everything off and go jump in the pool but hey it's, it's worth it but here again beautiful neighborhood this one again just a few of the older homes but it's if it's remodeled nicely then you're going to be and this is on a you can see at the end of a cul-de-sac nice and quiet hardly no traffic back here at all whatsoever so uh, we hope you found this helpful 
Again, you know, let us know if you like this type of content. We just focused on the $600,000 price range in this video series. But again, you know, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Happy to help you make a smooth move to Dallas or the surrounding areas like Plano. And uh, stick around. We'll cruise you around this neighborhood just to close it out. And until next time, well, we hope to see you around town.